Here in Pro Tools 2018, we have a few different options for how our solo buttons work. Now, this is the default behavior. Whenever you select a solo button, of course, that's added to all of the uh, tracks that you already have soloed, right? So we already know that. And a quick way to unsolo everything, by the way, is just hold down Alt or Option on Mac and click, and that will take everything off. Another thing you can do to unsolo a bunch of tracks quickly is just click your solo indicator here. That turns them all off. So that's the default behavior. Okay, so if we're playing back here, and that's on solo, I can add that track to it and add another track to it and add this track to it. Right, so on and so forth. We already know that. But we have a couple more options. So let's come up here to our options and solo mode. Now we're not going to go for solo in place or the after fader or pre fader. Listen, if you want to know more about that, head over here to help open up your Pro Tools reference guide and head down to page 258, although this number may be different. For example, mine is 279 uh, because we're using edge here. And you can read about uh, solo in place, after fader listen, and pre fader listen. The truth is most people won't need those options. So we're just going to focus on our latch modes. All right, so head back into Pro Tools, back up to options, back down here to solo mode, and let's try X or this is going to cancel the previous solo. So let's take this off for now. And this is very helpful whenever you have a lot of tracks maybe of different takes, for example, and you want to quickly go through them. So as you can see, I select one solo, and the other one is unlatched, and now this one is latched, so on and so forth. So go down to the next one, so on and so forth. So that's a quick way to go through a bunch of takes. Okay, and our last option is for Pro Tools Ultimate only solo mode, and this is momentary. Now I think this would probably be most useful if you have a control board. But what happens here is I hold down uh, my mouse in this case, and solo's on, I release, and it's off. Okay, so that's momentary. So we're playing back here. I just wanna hear just that guitar. All right, release, hold down, just hear that guitar. All right, so that's momentary and that is Pro Tools Ultimate only. So that is all of your options for your solo modes, either Latch, XOR, or the momentary, which is Pro Tools Ultimate only. Also, when you're on this XOR, you can hold down Shift if you wanna add something else to that selection, okay? So you can sort of override that just by uh, using Shift there, okay? Also, if I hold down Alt, that's gonna solo everything. Hold down Alt and click again, takes everything off. So these are options that you need to know here in Pro Tools. And again, to find these options, funnily enough, you come up here to Options, Solo Mode, and select whatever you want.